Hello YouTube. Today I would like to talk further about the book Confessions of an Economic Hitman. This is an absolute must read. This clearly defines the problem. That being that corporate America is in control. It has been for many, many years. This is the enemy. Whether this is a conspiracy or just absolute greed, I don't know and probably never will. I found myself wondering after 9-11, what would make another country hate us so much to do something like that? Why are Americans hated so? Um, after reading this book, a lot of my suspicions became very clear. We have, we, corporate America, that being the likes of Monsanto, Halliburton, GM, GE, Walmart, and a lot of your large construction and oil firms. Basically, they would go into another country, an underdeveloped country. They would make a, an argument for why infrastructure should be built, why oil reserves should be explored, and how this would help benefit their, com co benefit their country, help their people out of poverty, help them get modern conveniences. So they go in with all these projections that are total bull. They sell the country a raft of stuff. The international banking cartel finances it and all the while they know that it is going to put these countries into a debt that they will never be able to repay. I'm going to post some links to the side that I think are important to watch also. One concerns a documentary about Argentina and clearly spells out how they were taken down by the banking cartel and the large corporations. That will give you an idea of basically what they've done every place else. Um, the book also goes into how they basically had a huge money laundering scheme with Saudi Arabia to get the oil dollars. Uh, they knew that Saudi Arabia had tons of money and they weren't going to put them into a debt that they couldn't repay. But they finagled a pretty nice deal that basically puts us in bed with the Saudis and vice versa. Um, this is an old book. I think it was published in 2003. John Perkins is the author. Um, we know we're up against a, a large enemy, a well-funded enemy, a difficult to, at times to find enemy. Um, and it's interesting how, uh, you know, things become so clear after you read the book. If a country or a leader doesn't play along, out he goes, either by election or assassination or whatever it takes. The bottom line is, they want their money. They don't care about you. They don't care about me. They don't care about any of the other countries and the people that they have put into abject poverty. It's my belief that there's nobody else left to squeeze, so now it's our turn. And they're going to squeeze us until there's nothing left to squeeze. Frankly, the bottom line is, I don't care so much about me. I feel like I can get along no matter what. 
I've never been super materialistic as long as my basic needs are met. You know, I worry about my children, though. I worry about whether or not they will ever get an education. I worry about the quality of life they're going to have. I worry about the food, the water. You know, it just goes on and on. Because these greedy corporations don't care about what they're doing to the food, the water, anything. The bottom line is the money. Money, 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 money. I would suggest, as a solution, to not play the game. If you're fortunate enough to have any extra money, buy gold, physical gold, physical silver, food, ammo, guns, clothing, anything that you think you will need that will either not be available or will be extremely expensive, food, let's face it, you're going to eat. Whether the prices go up or down, you're going to be eating, and chances are real good the prices are not going down. I'm going to link another site that talks about the fact that, or supposed in fact, rumor, let's put it that way at this time, that China is no longer selling their gold. That's kind of interesting. Um, also, just as an inspiration, I'm going to put a link to a song from, um, I forget the website, Playing for Change or something like that. Just a nice inspirational song that might help us all keep fighting the good fight. Excuse my hair. I just got out of the shower and I know I'm usually gorgeous, but, uh, you know, it is what it is. <laughs> um, anyway. I digress. Um, as much as possible, do not buy from these corporations. Do not participate in the banking system any more than absolutely necessary. Do keep some cash on hand, but uh, I wouldn't keep too much. It might not be worth much in a little while here. Um, the mood of YouTube seems to be changing. People are starting to hunker down and just get, I don't know if nervous is the word, it's certainly not resigned, I don't know, they're just kind of, I get the feeling everybody's circling the wagons, you know what I mean? So, uh, keep preparing, don't forget seeds, open pollinated heirloom seeds. We might need them. And if, even if we don't need them, it's certainly nicer and better food than you're going to find in the grocery store. Monsanto food will not keep you nourished nor healthy. Um, thanks to all of you who put out videos. I appreciate it so much. Um, I feel like mine are really lame in comparison, but you know, I, I think you guys are getting tired of fighting and I don't blame you a bit. Um, I'm just trying to take up some of the slack. Maybe I can get to one or two people who haven't heard these things yet. I recommend if you're new to YouTube and new to these videos, go out there and search. You know, there's tons of stuff out there, people who do far better than me. Um, Fall to Grace, as I'll link one of her videos, has been doing a great job keeping on top of these banksters and their um, shenanigans. Huh. Uh, anyway, thanks, y'all.